price? We got the price? The price is right. Did that show still come on? Yes, right. What's up? All right. Before we get started with this video, you already know, give it a thumbs up, man. We're hitting y'all with some more fire for this video. All right. The, we have a couple of news items for this video. But the first one, the PlayStation 5 is up for pre-order and there is a price listing. Caveat, this is at PlayAsia, PlayAsia.com. You want to know what the price is? They're listing the PlayStation 5 for $699. That's right. $700. That's a lot of money, bro. <laughs> now, this more than likely could be a placeholder. And they just went real high on the price, $700, just to make sure that they have everything covered. I don't think there's any way Sony would sell this console for $700 and it takes off. The PlayStation 3 was $600 and we all know Sony had to dr drastically, dr 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 drastically drop that price. And so PlayAsia has the PlayStation 5 up for pre-order and a price listed for $700. That's a lot of money, bro. But we have some more dope news items for this video. What do I think the price should be? I think it's going to be 400 for the all digital, 500 for that disk drive one. I'm probably leaning towards the all digital. I just like the symmetry on the all digital one. Man, that presentation was fire. Check out my last video where I talked about the presentation. But, bro, we're getting an all new Star Wars squadron game this is a trailer for battlefront but we're getting a star wars game focused on air combat ea star wars official ea account on twitter has lit has tweeted pilots wanted tune in for the reveal trailer of star wars squadrons this monday june 15th 8 a.m. Pacific, that's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at, on their YouTube account. Bro, I loved Star Wars Rogue Squadron on the Nintendo 64 and the GameCube. We're finally, we're finally getting a spiritual successor to the uh, Rogue Squadron games. Bro, I can't wait. Sign me up day one by we're gonna um, i'm gonna give y'all my reactions and thoughts on monday i don't know if i'm a live streamer because it's just a trailer but i'll share my uh, immediate thoughts after who knows maybe we might, we might do it we might do it i expect i expect definitely this game to be on the playstation 5 and xbox series x and this just might also come out on the switch just because the series got popular on nintendo consoles so <coughs> homage to nintendo fans um a new star wars games i'm always here for star wars we have some more news some more news bro there's been a lot of controversy today surrounding the new marvel spider-man miles morales game earlier in my video earlier when i did a review of the entire event i clarified that it is going to be a DLC expansion, but Insomniac Games has since tweeted, Marvel, and I quote, so this is straight from the horse's mouth, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is the next adventure in the Marvel Spider-Man universe. We will reveal more about this standalone game 
at a future date. And so, they must have picked up on the false rumors that it's just DLC. And they've clarified, I gotta go, this is from the developer, that it's going to be a, its own standalone game. And so, it is an all new game according to Insomniac Games. The trailer looked insane, bro. The trailer looked insane, bro. Sign me up day one for um, a new Spider-Man game. So I can't wait, can't wait to get my hands on this game. It's coming out this year, bro. It's going to be a launch game, bro, or in the launch window. I'm, I'm already sold on the PlayStation 5. I'm sold. I'm getting me a PlayStation 5. Fire, bro. All right. This is exclusive. This is Obi-Wan Plays exclusive news. You're not going to get this anywhere else. I picked this up at the beginning of the PlayStation 5 event. There was a quote when they showed the PlayStation 1 console. They were paying homage to old consoles. But when they played the PlayStation 1 um, logo, this is what they said at the beginning. There was a quote. It says, ever wondered, had we made different choices where we might have ended up? And the reply was, nah, I like the hands we've been dealt. That was low-key shots at Nintendo. For those of you that don't know, the PlayStation 1 was supposed to be um, combined with the Super Nintendo. There was supposed to be a Nintendo PlayStation where it was a disk drive and cartridge slot but nintendo backed out of the deal and sony was left high and dry and so when they showed that playstation one and they made that quote they were saying do you think things would have how do you what do you think how do you think we, things would have been different if we had partnered with nintendo and the reply was nah we good <laughs> they pretty much said we good i have to say and no one hey men lie women lie numbers don't lie every single generation except for the Wii <laughs> Sony has outsold Nintendo and so I can see them showing, um, um, throwing shots saying we good Nintendo PlayStation 1 destroy the um, Nintendo I like my Nintendo 64 more PlayStation 1 destroy the Nintendo 64 PlayStation 2 destroyed the GameCube. That wasn't even close. PlayStation 2, best-selling home console of all time. PlayStation 3, the Wii got that generation. But even PlayStation 3 sold over 80 million units. So it was still sold well. PlayStation 4, we already know what's happened. Already over 100 million, and it's already won current generation. Interesting to see how the PlayStation 5 is going to sell next generation. And so, shots fired at Nintendo at the beginning of the conference. Not a lot of dudes picked up on that, but I caught it. Because I know my gaming history, bro. I've been here since the beginning, bro. And the last news item. I found this very interesting. Millie Amand. Um, she is a YouTube statistics manager. And she's tweeted out. She says she can confirm that yesterday's PlayStation 5 reveal event was the most watched gaming live stream in YouTube history. It surpassed all previous console reveals and E3 shows. I noticed the actual live video, like at one time it was over 2 million concurrent viewers. So I knew the numbers were going to be crazy. So PlayStation's broken all kinds of records. I'm going to predict from right now. This console is going to sell like crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just letting y'all know. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. 
there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.